Okay, in this video we're going to talk about working with layers. We're going to talk about a whole bunch of tips and tricks for navigating them and working with them more efficiently. So in the last lecture we were adding a hue and saturation layer to this image and if you recall we were just adding a little warmth to the image. We've already talked about easy ways to delete a layer by left clicking it and dragging it down and dropping it in the trash. We've talked about how to create a new adjustment layer just by clicking here and then you select whatever adjustment layer you would like. So if I want to do a black and white one, I click there. Now I have a new black and white adjustment layer. We've talked about how to hide layers and an additional trick is, well, let's just say I have a bunch of adjustment layers. I'm going to open a few here. If I want to turn off all of these adjustment layers, I can click and just drag, keep it clicked and drag, and then when I release, they'll all go away. And vice versa, if I want to show all these, I click and drag, and then when I release the mouse, they're all going to be shown. And the nice thing about that is you can toggle back and forth between a bunch of layers of changes without having to kind of go click through these like that and guess. So you just click and drag to toggle them on, click and drag to toggle them off. If your properties panel gets closed, I already mentioned that you can go up to window and go to properties here, but you can also just go and click on your adjustment layer thumbnail. Well, actually you have to double click and that will bring it up. So if I want to work on black and white, I'll click on this one. If I want to work on this hue and saturation adjustment layer, I double click on that and it will change my properties panel to that one. If you want to duplicate a layer, here let me turn these back on visually. If you want to duplicate a layer, you can actually click on this, drag it down here to the new layer icon, which is right there, and release it. And it will make another one and it will actually add the word copy to the name so that you know you've done a duplicate. And if I turn off these black and white ones, you'll notice that since we were increasing the reds, the saturation, or the intensity of our colors, now that I have another copy of that same adjustment layer, it just doubles it, right? So if I turn this one off, it's more subtle. If I turn this one off, we're back to the original. So you can create different effects by adding multiple layers. So that's how you duplicate one. You can also take a adjustment and copy it to another image and this is really helpful when you have multiple say multiple sizes or multiple versions of a similar image and you want to do all these adjustments to them really quickly you don't have to recreate the wheel with every image so for instance over here in my tabs I have another image which is the same girl, right, but it's cropped smaller. But it still has that kind of grayish feel to it, right? And when we go over to this one, you know, oh, we got to take one of these away. With our normal hue and saturation adjustment, it looks good. So if I want to add this to this little more cropped image, I just go here, I click on this, and I drag it up there just like when we took that coffee cup and dragged it into another image. Hover over the tab and then I bring it down and I drop it right onto the image like this. Boom. And you'll notice now we're in this other image, this cropped version, and all of the other adjustment layers from the other image are not here, but this one that I copied and dragged over is here. And it's just that easy to do that change. And if I had 10 images up here, you can go up to the window and you can do a range. And if you had, you know, a bunch of them, you could tile them all, say horizontally or vertical and stack them all up like this. And then you have a whole bunch of them and you can just grab this hue and saturation. Well, let's actually, let me actually show you. I'm going to delete this. Okay. So this goes back to being gray. I've got my desired effect here. Click on that to get over to that one. Grab it, drag it over, plop it on there, and presto, it's changed. And if I have a whole bunch of images, I just grab, drop, grab, drop, grab, drop, and 
It makes it really quick. Then you just save or export those images however you want, and you can really increase your time. So there's just one of the like million and a half benefits of being able to use layers. Okay, let's go back to our original one. We'll, I don't like to work with it arranged that way unless I'm doing something specifically, you know, like comparing to. So I'm gonna go back to consolidate to tabs. So we haven't done much naming of our adjustments, but once you start like using layer masks and doing multiple adjustments, you're going to want to start to name these something. And that's just gonna be based on what you're doing. And these just happen to be pretty obvious, but down the road you'll see that, especially once we start using layer masks, and for instance, if this was just to warm up, if I was using a layer mask just to do an adjustment layer on her face, then I would wanna name that something like warming face or <laughs> increased saturation face. So that if I had another adjustment to say darken the background, then I would name that one darken background. And it makes it so much easier to keep track of what you've done. And believe me, that gets important as you get more complicated. Okay, so those are five tips for working with layers. In the next lecture, we'll look at some more tips for working with layers, including how to group them and how to sort them and even change the sizes of the little thumbnails. Okay, so go play around with this stuff, get familiar with it, get good at it, and I'll see you in the next lecture.